All right, guys, I got another springy Easter DIY to do with you guys. It's really cute, really simple, and it's pretty fast. So come join me and check out this new spring DIY Easter project. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the comments below. If I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, let's get hey started. Guys, this next project is going to be a quick, easy little spring Easter um, DIY. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take an 8x10 frame. This is from the Dollar Tree. You can use any 8x10 or whatever size you prefer. Here's some cardstock that I have. And then I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to draw out the outline of a bunny. Just so I can have, just because I can. You can easily print out an outline of a bunny if you want to do it that way. But I decided I'm going to go ahead and try and sketch one. So that's how we're going to start today's project. So for this next part, I'm just going to take some of my hot glue and I have my precision tip and my twines. I'm going to do small increments and I'm going to put a little hot glue and press the twine on. And I'm going to do that all the way around the bunny. When I was originally thinking about doing this, I wanted to do it with rope so it would be a little bit thicker, but I was also planning on my bunny being bigger. So since I am doing it smaller, then I went ahead and did it with the twine. If you wanted to unravel the rope so you're using one of the strands rather than three of the strands, I think that would be a really cute idea too. And I'm using the hot glue because it does dry quickly, so you're able to actually set your rope without having to hope that it stays or come back and do redo an area. So here's a look at the bunny. We haven't taken the outline out yet, so it's still in there. But in all honesty, I think I would have liked it with the one strand of rope and it being a little thicker. I was debating on doing a second strand around. So let me know in the comments below what you think. If I should have done the one strand of the rope or if I should do a second roundabout of the twine. So let me know what you guys think. Okay. Now to finish it up, I'm just going to take a little bit of my lace ribbon and we're going to give it a little bit of a color bow thing. Guys, a little bit more hot glue. I have a cottony lace ribbon and this one's from the Dollar Tree. Also, I have a very light pink ribbon. This one is from a long time ago. I have no idea where. So next I'm going to take the piece of paper that I have the outline on and I'm just going to flip it backwards so that outline is actually facing the back. And I need to put everything back in the frame. So I like to do the bunny on the glass so it's outside of the frame and it just gives it a little bit of extra dimension. We'll go ahead and finish it up with a little puffy tail and then we'll be all ready to set it up and display. Okay guys, so here is a final look. I really love this. I think it's super adorable. And I love how the fluffy tail sticks out. You can easily do some flowers at the top and make it extra cute. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I can't wait to do another project next week. Bye bye.